Hi guys! If you missed the first video, check it out. I'll link it above. Here's a sneak peek on how to pick your beans, cut them, blanch them, pack them, and freeze them. So, let's get started. In this video, it will be the same process, except we're going to be cutting the beans in smaller pieces. To blanch them, package them, and freeze them to eat later on in the year. Also, if you've never seen purple beans turn green, this is your chance. Fill your pot halfway with water and boil. You can cut each bean individually, but to save time, I just take a handful and cut them at once. If you feel more comfortable, go ahead and use a cutting board. With these beans, the ends have been chopped off already. You don't have to remove them if you don't want to. So once you have all your beans chopped up and your pot is boiling and ready to go, toss in your beans. But remember, these are green beans but the color of them are purple. But once they boil, they start turning green. So you want to blanch them for about three minutes. I'm just going to speed up the video and you can watch them turning green. So after boiling for three minutes, they're done, and they're ready to be cooled off. You can either strain them, put them right into your sink, or dump the hot water, or just run cold water like I'm doing right here, right into your pot. Whatever you do, you want to put them into cold water right away to stop the process of blanching. Because you don't want to cook your beans yet, you just want to blanch them for freezing.
Here I'm just dumping out the water as I put some cold water in the other sink for them to cool off. If you have Ziploc bags or food saver bags, you want to package them in the amount that you're going to be eating for each meal. Now if you're using Ziploc bags, here's a trick. Have a bowl of water, fill your bags with beans, and put your bag into the water as the water will tighten your bag as you submerge it, and then Ziploc. It'll squish most of the air out. Just don't submerge the zipper part of your bag. Now if you're using a food saver, Make sure it's switched to the wet setting. You want most of the air sucked out. This will prevent freezer burn. Now with blanching your beans and packing them with a food saver, these beans can last up to a whole year in your freezer. You can let the machine suck most of the air out, but I end up stopping it sooner so it doesn't squish my beans. So there we have chopped up beans. And as you can see, we also have the longer green beans from the last video. If you have not seen that video, please go check it out. I will link it above and at the end of this video. So the next handy thing I do is I put it all into one bag. This will help me keep my freezer organized, so I know where all my beans are in my freezer. Now let's go put them in the freezer. And like that, your beans are blanched, done, and frozen. Ready for any time you need them. Doing this throughout the summer, you'll end up with a lot of beans. As you can see here, I have another huge pot of beans that I'm blanching. So if you found this video interesting, or you just liked it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for all new videos. Thanks for watching!